In this video, I'm going to be talking about why Marlon Brando's Stella scene in A Streetcar Named Desire is still so revered even 70 years later. Hello everyone, welcome to Robert Bellissimo at the Movies. This is a video podcast which explores the many different ways in which stories are told on film. Now, 70 years later, this performance still really holds up as one of the best performances ever captured on film. Marlon Brando played, of course, Stanley Kowalski. He did it on Broadway for about a year and then was in the film adaptation in 1951. And in this scene, this famous Stella scene, what's just happened is he has, you know, hit his wife. He's a brutal guy and he he abuses her and that after that poker game, it gets hectic and he hits her because he doesn't like the radio, the the, the noise coming from the other room. Uh, one of his friends hit, hits, hits him to stop him, and then the women go in the house next door as he's unconscious, and they put him in the bath. Now, what happens here is that he basically wants her to come back. And as an actor myself, uh, I'm looking at the scene technically. He wants his wife back. So as soon as you see Brando, his hands are on his head. The expression on his face says everything. He is so upset, so regretful, and emotional, and vulnerable. And here's this guy that we just saw beat up a woman, and suddenly is weeping and, and regretful. And it is so engaging, and you can feel every moment. And I've said before on this podcast, when I've talked about different performances, is that there are good performances, great performances, and then there's the master of the craft, where I can feel it as if I'm there as if I'm watching it as a play. And, you know, he starts to look around for her. You know, acting is doing, really doing, not faking. Uh, you really do what the character is doing. And you see Marlon doing that. He's looking for her. He's getting more upset as he can't find her. He understands what that means. Uh, play, as an actor, playing the part of Stanley, that, oh my God, my wife that I love so much has left me. Uh, and he's getting more and more upset. As he goes out to call down her to come down in the in the house next door of course this is the stella this is that see i didn't do that nearly as well as him this is the scene where he screams at the top of his lungs and it's not just someone screaming it is it is pain it is anguish it is my life is torn apart if you're not in it uh he gets down to his knees you see the regret the sense of uh, of vulnerability that you really hadn't seen in a male actor before uh, I mean, there are so many great actors even before Brando, but of course, this training with Stella Adler uh, when acting became very much more real and truthful um, on screen, uh, it really started, uh, was one of the early performances from Brando in 1951. And even today, it still holds up. It is still so revered because you can feel it, because it's real, because it's an actor committed to the action. He's committed to the scene. He is. He understands that if he doesn't get what he wants, what that's going to do to him on an emotional level, the consequence of losing his child who's uh, because his wife is pregnant and, and losing her and losing his family. And he does all this in his expression, in his emotion. Uh, he doesn't even have that many lines in that scene. He's, you know, where are you? Where are you, baby? Uh, I want my girl down here, Stella, as he screams out a few times. I'll never do it again. You know, he doesn't even say that much, but it's so expressive. It's so much in his behavior. And I think this is why it holds up to this degree, uh, you know. And, uh, you know, Mark Brando was just one of these actors who really could understand another person. And he could make even us, the audience, suddenly empathize with a man who's just hit his wife. Uh, and. God, I mean, he's like another person all of a sudden. And uh, he really brought the humanity into that role. I mean, I think a lot of other actors perhaps would have still been trying to maybe play it tough. Like, Stella, you know, come down here because you, you know, you, I, I, you belong to me and tough luck or something along those lines. But no, 
he plays it like an open wound, like an ups, very upset. And how the, could I have done this? And none of that is in the dialogue. It is all in his behavior. It's all as he saw it, as he interpreted it, and how he expressed it. And it is beautifully done, poetic acting. And this is why it is still holds up 70 years later as one of the most iconic performances on film, especially the Stella scene by Marlon Brando playing Stanley Kowalski. Well, thanks so much, folks. If this is your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing by pressing the subscribe button, which you can find in the description box below, or you will see the uh, a, a picture of myself floating above uh, my head to your top left. You can click on that and then click the bell in order to get a notification every time I release a new video or when I go live with my various guests. Thanks so much, folks. See you soon.